Welcome, I'm from is a Poco F3 and today I'll show you how to record screen on this device. And to get started, let's pull down the notification panel, expand it, and you should find a toggle for it on one of the pages, which for me is on the bottom left corner right here. So once you find it, you can either slap it to immediately start recording, like so, or you can also hold it once I find it again. So when you hold it, it will take you to the uh, screen recorders. So basically you will see everything that you have recorded here, but you also have access to settings when you tap right in the top right corner. And from here you can change a couple of settings, uh, well, associated with quality primarily. So you can change the resolution, although by default it comes uh, set to the highest one, which I would recommend you keep this one. Video quality, uh, it comes by default at 16 megabits per second. Um, it is okay, you can go higher. Uh, you could go to like 32 megabits per second, uh, even higher, but honestly past like I think 32, you won't really see much of a difference in quality. So I, I don't know if it's worth it, but mm, the higher you go, the more space it will take, uh, the recording will take. So just keep that in mind, the higher you go, the more you will require space per minute. Then below that we have orientation, so just uh, you can set up a hard cap orientation of the device. Uh, so if you go to auto, it will record uh, in the orientation that the device is right now at. Uh, but if you set it, for instance, to a landscape, even though the device is in well, portrait, it will record the video in landscape, so everything will be sideways. So I'll advise you to keep it on auto, it's probably going to be better. Then below that we have sound source. I believe we only have one or the other. Yep. So we have choice between uh, mute mic or sound system system sounds. Uh, you cannot have both. So mic and uh, sound system or system sound the yeah, other way around. Um, so if you wanted to record uh, just for instance some gameplay with a commentator commentary over it, uh, you can't do it on this device. There are devices where you can, but this is not one of them. So you will have to pick uh, which one is more important to you. And below that we have frame rate, uh, fixed frame rate, it's a good toggle, uh, otherwise it will vary in frame rates. And then we have frame rate, you can choose to set it to a specific frame rate. Um, the two options that I would consider being worth uh, picking is either 30 or 60. If you're recording gameplays, go for 60 without any kind of doubt. Uh, if you're recording some kind of uh, informational videos, for instance like I am right now, if you're planning to do it just as a screen recording, then you can go to 30. It won't be as uh, as bad looking as, as, for instance, when you're playing a game. But yeah, anyway, uh, also I'll mention that uh, depending on what frame rate you pick, the higher the frame rate, uh, the more space it will take. And then when we scroll down, Lower, we have just a couple toggles, so lock uh, to end screen recording, uh, show touch gestures, so whenever you touch the screen, it will show a little dot where you have been touching it. Visualize navigation buttons, uh, show uh, show prompts when uh, pressing home button, menu, and back. And then go back to screen recorder, so when you stop recording, uh, it will take you back to here. So anyway, uh, that's basically all the settings that we had there. So I'm just gonna quit this and go back to the toggle itself and start recording. So whatever I will do right now will be recorded. So keep that in mind. And also there is one little caveat. If you plan to record things like, um, as an example, Netflix, uh, I will just tell you right off the bat, don't even bother. Uh, it won't work. Netflix, um, Netflix is one of those apps that for some reason has uh, hard access to what you're doing and will literally block the screen from being recorded. So when you're using the built-in Android screen recorder, all you will get is just a black image uh, as a recording. Uh, you will have sound, but that's all you will have from the recording. So anyway, once you have finished the recording, you can either find it in that special location uh, by holding the toggle, as you can see right here, or by going into your photo gallery. So let's open up gallery. Go to albums and you should see screen recorder and there we go so as you can see there is the recording that i have captured so anyway that is how you'd capture any kind of screen recording on your device and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching